Hello and welcome to another fundamental investing tutorial with the use of programming where we left off. We were generating uh, this chart here. Uh, well, we would hit hit run and we currently are picking this stock. But anyways, generates this chart. As you can see, we've got some empty fields now that we're going to populate with some data from Quandle. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. And then in the next video, we'll incorporate everything all together uh, into the screener. And then it'll display all this information on the company that it finds. So close out of here. So all we really need to do is go over to our Quandle application and basically we just need to copy and paste everything. So from here, since the um, what's being run here is graph data, eventually we can change the name of this function, but we're really just throwing everything under this single function, which really you could have dif different functions and bring them all together but we're just going to hack this together. So anyway, it's all going to be under the same graph data function. You know, obviously we've got the compute MACD, exponential moving average, typical moving average, and the RSI functionality. Um, we're going to take this quandle part and also put it under graph data. At least for now, that makes the most sense because um, this is also just purely graphing data. Now, uh, once we incorporate the uh, the screening, what it'll do is it'll screen, find a company, and then that company it'll throw into the stock variable here. So it'll make sense. It's just we have one really large, large function here. So anyway, what we're going to do is come up here, basically take the stock variable and throw it into and just interchange it with ticker. So all we need to do is just put that really starting here underneath this try. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this and copy and paste all the way down to the point bef right before it defines figure uh, because obviously we're not going to graph then graph. So copy that and then come over here underneath this try, paste. Now we need to realign everything. So come back up to that try and align everything. Should just take a single tab. Now if you'll notice we because of our quantile application, our try and accept loop really came down to an exception here, which came after um, after plotting. So, but what we can do is just copy and paste this exception, come over here, and we need to paste the exception here, and tab this over, save that, and now it's pulling the quantile data and stuffing it into these very well, yeah, these these variables here. And so now we can actually plot those variables. So we'll come down to those uh, axes we just created and start plotting that data. So here we'll say uh, ax3.plot. And here we'll plot the income date and income. And then we're also going to do uh, a color. And that color, um, I think we should steal it from Mac. The MACD function probably is the best one. Let's see where we were plotting MACD. Here, we'll take this color, this 4EE6FD, and come back down here, color. And that's the color that we'll plot. And then finally, the other thing that we want to do is plot Y label. And since we don't have much space, I'm just going to shorthand every label. So this will be NI for net income. Color of that label will be white. And then what we're going to do is just copy this here. Come down here. Paste. We'll change this to AX4. Uh, AX4 is going to plot rev date and revenue. This will be rev for short. And then down here, we will plot... Um, ROC, right? Yeah, ROC. I think it was ROC underscore or under case. I mean, ROC date followed by ROC, and then this is ROC color white. Oh, well, that's the same. So let's make sure. Let's see where we stand at the moment. Oh, the other thing we need to do. I don't think we changed uh, the right. So what this is doing is it's throwing stock, and we were initially, in, not instead of stock, 
we were calling for or asking for ticker, but ticker can just be replaced by stock. Now the last thing to take, uh, just in case someone entered an under case or a lower case stock, it would fail. This link requires, uh, it's a case sensitive link. So we need to add in a stock.upper. So we'll um, copy this, paste, paste. Now, hopefully with this application, it's possible that something went wrong uh, stuffing it all together like this, but this should run and populate. So stuck to plot, Yahoo, and spit out everything, so it's probably working out. Sure enough, here we go. As you can see, we have more finance data than we do um, price data, but we can just zoom in. And now you have uh, let me push this over. You know, your revenue line, your uh, return on capital line, and your net income line. And of course, you can also get uh, you know, from the hover, uh, the mouse over on here, you can hover your mouse and actually get this exact number. So you don't even really need the numbers over here at all. Uh, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing is adding in the grids. So we could add in a grid to this. So back down to the bottom. And so you could say ax3.grid. And in here you put true. And we'll paste that down here. Make it ax4 and paste it again and make it AX5, run it, Yahoo. Oh shoot, yeah, it doesn't have any color because it's black. Uh, but what we can do is if you want the grid to show, it would be AX, well, well grid, and then, uh, then what you need to do is say uh, color equals and whatever color in this case we want to do white so paste and paste now this time we should have grids on there yep okay so now we've got the grids we've got everything marked the only thing we really want to do um, well at the very end I can show you guys we'll possibly throw in a little function to uh, cut the off the excess here, so it's just you know this data here. Uh, but we'll get to that. The next thing that I really want to do is first we should connect this to our actual screening program. So that's what we're going to do in the next video and uh, stuff that all together. So stay tuned to the next video. As always, thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.